um, and they simply don't look broadly enough. I did my schooling from Moravan Mission School, which is in Leh, uh, which I think is the best school of Ladakh. <laughs> uh, starting, I was there in uh, London Model School, Leh, until sixth, uh, sixth class. I did my sec uh, higher secondary school in Delhi itself. I've been in Delhi from the past eight, nine years. When I was at the age, when I did my first class, then I was shifted out here. I shifted out here in Masuri, then Dehradun, and then Delhi. I don't know about my culture very much. Uh, we are not really much uh, aware about our tradition and all. Uh, basically, when students come to Delhi to study, so they're exposed to an uh, environment which is very different from Ladakh. And they tend to forget their own culture. They even for, sometimes they don't even know how to speak their own language. They forget their traditions. And I think which is not a good sign for Ladakh. Nobody speaks the fluent Ladakhi, which was origin before. But we are here and follow the global uh, traditions. Or we are trying to be, uh, we are trying to uh, compete with them. We just after money, money, money. <laughs> You know, the year that you were born, there were 6,000 languages spoken on Earth. Now, a language isn't just grammar or vocabulary. A language is a flash of the human spirit. It's a vehicle through which the soul of every culture comes in the world. Every language, I've always said, is like a old growth forest of the mind, an ecosystem of thought, a watershed of social and spiritual possibilities. As we sit here, half those languages are not being taught to children. In some areas where we are very strict, for example, speaking in English. My school is English medium school, and uh, every children are speaking in English, and when they are in the playground also they speak in English. In class, yeah. in class also, every year. in the school we have to speak in English. Uh, we are strict that the children speak in English with the ch uh, teachers in the class and with each other. Yeah, if somebody speak the other uh, Ladakhi or Hindi, uh, then teacher give him or her punished, yeah. What happens when somebody gets punished? <laughs> Um, yeah, it's get, get uh, the money, yeah, it's fine money, five rupees. But that discipline inculcates a habit of English. And English is one uh, language that commands the world today. Be it the cyber world, internet, anything, business, you have got to learn English in India. When we go to other countries, it's, it's, we have to speak in English. We, uh, we don't have uh, English speaking, we can't go to other country and speaking. Yeah. It's, English speaking is very good. And when I graduate, I will, I will go to other countries. Any country. <laughs> what, where do you think you'll go to study? Um, in Delhi. Will your mom miss you when you move to Delhi? Yeah, I will miss her. Miss my mom. I miss my hometown, really, and my parents. Because I've been here, not here properly, but uh, out of to my town, about 10 or 12 years. And about a place called Ladakh, you've seen. It's a heaven, really it is heaven, okay? I miss, I miss Ladakh too much because home is home, right?
great tragedies of schooling is how it has ripped people out from nature and locked them up into rooms for eight hours a day. And I think the, the profound kind of uh, damage that it's doing to us, only we'll recognize generations from now and then we'll look back and say, how could we have done this kind of thing to people? And thinking that, you know, creating concrete, you know, jails and locking people up into that and, to, and giving them books that tell them about nature is, is a better way to think about life than actually spending time in nature. So. Why it is called, why it is given this name? Can you tell me? Do you have any idea why we call this name? It's, the spelling is xeropathic. It's xeropathic. Why do we call this name? Xeropathic vegetation. The type of vegetation that we have here in Ladakh is xeropathic. Now, can you cite me the reason why we call this type of vegetation as xeropathic vegetation? Anyone in the class? Anyone? Anyone? Do we have heavy rainfall here? No. We have scanty rainfall here. So for that reason, we, we, as we have discussed, that we don't have good type of vegetation here. We can't expect to have, you know, forest, good forest. We can't expect to have great vegetation here. And we are uh, here, I, I, I just wanted to add that, with the distinct type of plants, animals, and the environment, human is also included in the ecosystem. Understand? Now, how is human included? Why do we say that human is an integral part in the ecosystem? How do you think that human are involved in the in the ecosystem? Anyone in the class? Anyone? Anyone? Yatuni <laughs> Then it is six zero and Mazebano, Yana Mayan Pasani, Garusa Pozak to Stan Pasani, Mata in women both in it, shoot it and what you look for Tama, Stopojan. Sakatpo Amak or Amatosino Sinel, Bubna Sassin, Sakatpo Korambo Mata, Bains of Sino Sinel. Then it's Umbasani at us this Saket Pozeshkanbo, Mata Patina Pura, Mirab Namira Bata, Borgian Tisaket in Hollis. Yon Tanzan and Profena, Matia Yon Tanzigoto, Nyon Tan but talk putting it to a tongue and chisman. Ladakh <laughs> And the amazing thing, if you think about it, is that biologists have finally proven it to be true what philosophers have always